welcome to our next episode of Dialogue Editor, what grab you something, yeah. Let's just get into it. So we have the event node right here, and we are now going to make uh, that one this time. So let's just clear this one out and go base node. Wonderful. So let's see, the base node, uh, not the base node, uh, the event node needs to actually also have an event it can call. And the way that I want to try to do it is that we actually go out and make a new scriptable object. Again, we're going to go call it dialog event OS. And we're going to open that one up and just clean it and go scriptable scriptable object. Wonderful. Let's see, so of course we want to make it serializable, so system dot serializable, and we of course want to do so we can actually create it. So menu, create asset menu, and then menu name, and let's just put it on a dialog, and call it... Um, New dialog. Oh, uh, dialog. Ah, this is not going well. There we go. Dialog event. So now we have that. We actually just want uh, a visual void uh, and call it uh, call. Uh, let's call it run event instead. Run event. This way we can now override um, the dialog event uh, scriptable object. So if you want, and then we will simply just go into override the run event, meaning we can customize it, uh, the dialog event OS, to do whatever we actually want it to do. But for now, let's just go uh, debug dark log uh, da, da, da. event was called. Okay, well, uh, it's gonna be some time before we can actually test this out, but um, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go back to event node. And let me just have a look at notes. Yes, wonderful. And we of course going to have our private uh, event node here that we are actually going to put in. Let's just call it event node, uh, a dialog event. All right. So we also need to be able to actually uh, call it elsewhere. So we are also going going to make a property for it, and. Then we actually need to make, uh, let me just first check my notes. I don't think we need to do that, but let's do it anyway. So we also need to do uh, our object field now. Object field is, uh, you want to make a field for specific, uh, like you can make a text field, but uh, that's for text only. Our object field is for when you actually don't have uh, that specific field in the system. Like, uh, there isn't any dialog event uh, scrutable object uh, that is a field. So therefore we can use the object field to do the same thing, pretty much. Right, so we're going to make uh, our classical empty constructor. And we're going to make the other constructor that has all the stuff we need. And I can't spill. Alright, so that's a vector two underscore possession. That was the dialog editor. Yes, it was. Dialog editor, then dialog review. I'm just gonna go review. Then I'm gonna add my beautiful underscores because I'm a maniac. At least that is how I like to do it. Actually, let me just check over here that we... 
Yeah, we did have it up here, so let's just continue with that. Alright, so first up, we know we need to give it a title. Let's just call it event. Next up, we know we need to set the possession. So we're going to set the possession. That's a new wreck. And the wreck is going to take the possession and the size of the node. Good. And then we need to make a, a new ID for it and a new good, good, goody. I have no idea how to pronounce that correctly. A new good to string. There we go. So now we also have the ID. So uh, the event node is not an int node and it is not a starter node, so therefore it needs both an input and an output. So let's add both of those. We need uh, output, uh, like input, let's just start with input. And funny enough, we're gonna call that input. And then, oh, now, that, that's not uh, copy paste here, so add out output. And we're just gonna go out put. There we go. Beautiful and easy. So, should we. Uh, let's just do it. For the safety purposes, we, uh, we're we gonna add those here anyway. Uh, we don't need to, so the input can take multiple. So we can have more nodes that uh, that goes to this specific node, and it can only have one output, meaning there's only one place the node can lead to after it's done. At least that is what we're going to do in our scripts here. So now we need to actually, uh, oh no, now we need to make the, oh what's it called? Uh, now we need to make the script, uh, the object field, sorry. So we are just going to go object field, eagles, new object field. And inside that we're going to set the object type to be type of that is dialog oh no no dialog container dialog event os now knows it's that type of um what should we call it that's type of uh, a data that we wanted to save and then we allow all scene objects is false and then the value itself we want that to be the dialog value. Then we're gonna edit that. Then we need to tell it the update field that every time it is. Uh, I'm just gonna copy it because it's ridiculous long. This motherfucker Re registered value change callback. That are not a, month, a mouthful. I don't know what it is. All right, so in here we need to go uh, v, uh, and then we need a lumpa expression. Oh no, a value queue. Actually, it's called value, and the value is. Uh, then we need to do the brackets. Is it because I haven't added the reference? Yes. There we go. So now the reference is there. So every time we change the value, we want the dialog event to be equals the object field's new value. And we want it to be as a dialog event. There we go. <laughs> All right, so every, chance, every, every time the object field's value has been changed, the value, been changed we want it to save that object value into the dialog event as of course a dialog event all right there we want the main oh, main content dot it then we're gonna add the object field here we go Oh yeah, I completely forgot. We actually need to go 
object field dot uh, set value then dialog event there we go you also need to set the current uh, value it has into the event at least I think that's how it's it should work all right did we actually forget to do that over here I think we did let me just check my node. Yeah, 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 we did. So, so go back to uh, end node and, <laughs> and uh, do the whoopsie doopsie and. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you know, field dot set value. Let's just pretend that uh, we remembered this so no one will notice. All right, so we just forgot to put this little fin line in here. No one noticed that. Oopsie doopsie. And then we go back to event node, and I think, uh, yep, that is it for the event node. And uh, we'll see you in the in the next video where we should tackle the dialogue node as well.